welcome back to another tutorial. If you saw my last tutorial, I showed there how you can create from images 3D models. And then I had some new ideas here and I wanted to show you now today in this tutorial here. At first I made an image here from Hulk, but this time I made him in a base mesh style, okay? So I gave, gave the prompt here, please create a 3D symmetric base mesh from Hulk in ZBrush style, full body view. And then it came out these four images here. I made that with the Bing image creator. And I like this one, but you can see here it isn't the full body here. You see the, the arm and the legs are cut it out here. So then I choose this one here. You can see it is symm symmetric here, the arms and the legs and everything, all the body. Only it's a little bit from the side angle, but that's not a problem. Then if you are happy with that, just click here on download. And then we go to hugging face, the same AI tool I showed you in the last video. You can also find the link in the video description here under this video and then go here and choose the image. Now it's here. And then click on generate 3D. And that can take a while at first to create a stage one model and then here the final model. And now the first stage model is ready. Just have a look on it. It doesn't look good. It's more like a monkey. You can see like a gorilla. But okay. We have to wait for the final stage model. But my idea behind of that is to create only the model in the base mesh style. That's why I choose the image in the base mesh because it is uh, the quality is much better, I think. I just have to try it out. And in this base mesh, we don't need any textures like that, okay? Because we want to edit the, we want to edit the 3D model in Blender or in ZBrush. It's just a basic model and we want to make it more smooth and model more details in ZBrush or in Blender. And for that I think we don't need any colors or any textures on it. But let's wait for the final stage. And now we got the final stage model here. It doesn't look so bad. Okay, I have a few things like <laughs> like that here. There you can see. But okay, it's not a problem. You can see a lot of details here. And this is a great base mesh to start modeling. And we can download it here. But at first I have to tell you, uh, if you saw my other video, then you can see, you remember that the, the program here, the AI tool always crushed when, uh, when, I, when it creates the final stage model. Okay, it, always, it only works with the first stage model and then with the final stage model, it always crushed down. And not only in the video, I tried many times again and it crushed directly. And now here, when I use only the base mesh style, it works without any problems. Then you can download it here. Then it comes out here as GLB file. Then we can go to Blender, go to File and Import, Import GLB. This one, no, no, it was an older model I showed in the video. Let's do it again. GLB and it's this one. Now we got our Hulk here. Delete. As you can see, looks a little bit like a zombie from Resident Evil. 
the movie or the video games, <laughs> but okay. I think there is a good chance now to make something like a Hulk with this space mash. Just go to the... Just go to the sculpt mode here. And then you can start editing the character. Example here and go to smooth. This area here. I think you already know how to use the sculpt mode. You can also activate the X mirror here and then it just edit one side and then it mirrors on the other side. But this is not part of this video. If you want to learn how to create a 3D model or a 3D character from scratch, then you can have a look on my video here. It was one of my first videos. Just click on the link here and then you can see the workflow and you can see how much time it always took in the past and with AI now it is much faster. And I'm really sure that we will have a lot of new AI tools very soon that will improve this workflow. And I'm always looking for new tools and I will tell you directly and I will make some cool new videos then when I when it comes out, okay? If you found this tutorial was helpful then just give it a like, subscribe to my channel and then see you soon. Bye!